Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. Here's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Look at the lineups here, it looks very much, Jim, like a 5 4 1. Well, it could be a disguise, Peter, for something else. And that five at the back can easily produce wing backs. If that's the case, I think you know it might end up a three at times. Uh, admittedly, though, if they do play deeper and in line with the centre backs, then we can um, take it that they don't really want to give much away. That will be foremost in their minds, but essentially. It depends on the two wide players in that defence. If they push on a little bit more, we could see something very different. And already we're underway here. And it's played forward. Northwight can get it clear. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's King. Played into space out wide. Timely intervention. Forward it goes. Omar Al Abdullawi goes looking. Tries to locate someone up front. Needed a better pass there. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. It's being played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's made sure that that won't get through. Goes direct to the front line. Nortbite goes looking. Has he found his man? Good take, and he's had a lot and a shot. Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence, and it could well be revisited. This hoists it forward, plays it out to the wing. Aimed in towards the massive leap! It's there! With half time at hand! Perfect timing! A great delivery and a finish to match. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. 
pinged forward. And we've reached half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A really decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading 1-0 at the break. Gets things going for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Battles to win it back. Dashing forward at pace. Gets it back. And it's played forward. They've managed to get it away. Forward it goes. Fence has got rid of that. Norway are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Nice touch. Can he deliver? What a ball this is to be. And the shot! It's anyone's ball. And now the breakaway. Looks to clip it forward. Looks to bypass the midfield. Ball, but not especially accurate. Well, that's where he wants it. He's away. And King! Now that could come back to hurt them. King appears to be absolutely seething with himself after squandering the chance to equalise. to get it forward quickly and that has put paid to that just a few more moments for them to hang on tries to get it clear he's making good use of his strength there he's had a shot goes the whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Your reflections then, Jim.